later. Yay. It's Black Restaurant number one in Vietnam. Let's go. You might not pause there. There are things for you to do in the dark. Okay, so uh, anyway, let me introduce you to our menu here. So for the food menu, we will have three choices to offer, which is our menu from the east, menu from the west, or vegetarian menu. Okay, and you will not know what are you going to have for dinner. Okay, they it's going to be a surprise. And surprise. Okay. That's why we suggest all three of you should have the same menu. You can have the same food and discuss with each other. Okay. Over here, uh, yeah, so you can take a look. And here is our drinks menu. You can see and decide for your own favorites. Okay. We just got to uh, this restaurant in uh, Newark. And uh, it's the number one restaurant on TripAdvisor in Saigon. And to say that I'm curious is an understatement. It's a restaurant where you eat in a complete pitch black. They don't like cameras inside. But we're about to go inside right now. We're, we're choosing uh, our food right now. You can either choose Asian, Western, or vegetarian. We're going to choose Asian and then Far East. Far East food. Supposedly the food is amazing, but you're eating in a complete pitch black. You can't even see your food. These welcome drinks. Let's try this welcome drink. Wow. Ooh. It tastes like a margarita. Did you get alcohol here? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Well, salute. Well, hi, bye, yo. This is a beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful vibes. We're kind of like waiting to go inside to the dark room. It's like a, it's like a theme park slash restaurant slash Buddhist. Something like that. It's black. <laughs> it's black. It's black. I'll let you guys know afterwards how it was. Now we get to play a game before we go in. <laughs> He just said this game is to get us adapted to the dark and get our senses ready to do stuff without seeing. So I think we're about to put blindfolds on and play this little puzzle game. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? Okay. We're putting on blindfolds now. Okay. And we're supposed to put these shapes inside of these Luckily I have shapes. Very so. skilled with my fingers. Mm. Wow, this is going to be Three, difficult. Four. I'm just gonna slide it all around. I feel so stupid right now. I'm trying to feel the cut out and the shape in there. This is really hard guys. I've never tried it before. Two in, two in, two in. Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> Parker! <laughs> Parker, you're, you're a genius. You <laughs> I got, I you got to take on your mask. You two should continue. Yeah. Okay, we'll continue. Oh, Danny, got, Danny got four, I got two, <laughs> Parker got... All of them. Parker, this is your your genius, man. You have you have good uh, touch. You have good senses with your fingers. So, they make you put your phones away. <laughs> bye bye. Parker. Put your phone in a locker, and here we go. Just don't tell them about your phone. You can sneak it in. Fine. <laughs> so our dining room is completely dark by itself. So that's why when you first go in, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by it. So just relax. After a few minutes, when you sit down, you can start to feel everything around you. Like your table, your chairs, and everything around you. You'll get along very quickly. Okay. okay. So inside there, people tend to talk very loudly. Uh -huh. So just be aware. Okay. 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 Beside that, the service staff will serve you. They are just literally visually impaired and blind. So if you do need to have any assistance, perhaps, just simply call their names so they can hear you and come and help you immediately. Don't do this. <laughs> Nobody yeah, gonna right. see, you. see you. The servers are blind. Are you there? That's an interesting. I've never had to be trapped before sitting. Well, being served in the dark by 
Blind turn. First briefing before a restaurant. Yeah, yeah let's okay. do this. Ready to go? Let's okay. do it. Number one restaurant in Vietnam. All right, so on. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Now we will make a line, so I will invite you to one. Please, Lau. Mr. Lax? Yes. 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 Yeah, nice to meet you. Please come over. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Lai. Lai. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. 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 We're in order, we're going in. See you later. Yeah. It's Black Restaurant, number one in Vietnam. Let's go. Yes. I'll let you guys know how it is. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy. So, when you're in there, not only is your taste enhanced, so the food is extra delicious, but your hearing is also enhanced. So it makes for some interesting conversations. It makes you think twice before opening your mouth because your ears are sensitive to everything the people around you are saying. So it's just you, the food, and the people sitting around you at your table can't see anything. And so it makes for some deep interesting meaningful conversations and that was actually one of the coolest parts about it so yeah gotta experience it for yourself okay let's go out <laughs> uh we just stepped out of a pitch black restaurant we just had one of the bombest meals we've ever had in the pitch black it was a big open room with probably f at least five tables at least five people. tables yeah other people still pretty quiet Pitch Black Restaurant. That was one of the most coolest, coolest experiences of my life. Three courses. Each course had three to four individual dishes that were placed on a tray that was built uh, that had little slots for each dish. And you would eat with a spoon or a fork, according to what your server told you. And they were all deliciously bomb in their own right. Uh, your taste, your sense of taste still works in the pitch, in the pitch black, in case you were wondering. Yeah. We were tasting all types of shit, and it was delicious. It's great. It makes you, it makes you appreciate the taste of the food more, so I feel like I'm closer to the Anthony Bourdain's level now, as far as analyzing food, just Ab after that uh, pitch black restaurant. Absolutely. Highly recommend this restaurant. Yeah. Without a doubt. I want to say Yeah. <laughs> you come to Saigon, gotta go to Noir. Number one restaurant, number one recommendation. Don't be the miss best. It. Don't miss it. You, they, you file in like this, you get in there, it's pitch black, you sit down, and it's just a surreal experience. That's all I can say. So hit it. Get oh, it. Fudges. Okay. Another one. Another one. <laughs> at Noir, and I'm with the co owner, Aaron, the Dutch owner. And so I just wanted to ask him, like, what was his motivation to start this? Uh, this restaurant, uh, what's the background and what is it all about for people that are watching that are kind of about to visit Saigon? Yeah, oh, good. Uh, very nice, of course, to have uh, more visitors to our restaurant. We have now been open for 17 months, but it's uh, doing quite well. Uh, yeah, the, the concept uh, eating in the dark, not being able to see the food, not being able to see each other, probably much more on more tasting and smelling and, and you know, trying to taste the food. It's, it's rather interesting if you can't see. Our sense of sight is very strong. And, and then when you take that away, it becomes rather a challenge to properly identify food and, and drinks as well. Um, yeah, and of course there's a blind service staff in our restaurant. And uh, that's also the, the main idea of starting this. Yeah. The, 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 employee, the, uh, the servers are blind inside of the pitch black restaurant. And you are uh, you're saying how that's kind of part of the concept. Yes. Is to employ these people oh, it is, it is. talk to them too. Absolutely. Yeah. About 94% of the blind community in Vietnam is unemployed, so it's very difficult for them to find jobs simply because it's not available. Um, yeah, they are very easily discriminated in their options. And, uh, we feel that they are absolutely more and more than capable than most of the sighted people think they are. 
they can't see it. It does not mean that they should be kind of expelled from the world. Right, yeah. Right. That's a good thing. Thank you. Most people. Yeah. It is, uh, to say the least, an amazing experience. There's only a handful of these dining in the dark concept yeah. restaurants yeah. around the world. Maybe a couple in Asia. Yep, there uh, is. Only one in Saigon. Uh, the only one in Saigon, indeed. Yeah. Dining in the dark started in uh, 1999 in uh, Switzerland, in, uh, in Zurich. Uh, started by a blind man, a blind priest, and he wants to let the sight of people experience how it is to be in dark situations. So, um, since then, there's definitely a couple of other restaurants opened up. Uh, the real, but, uh, unique still it is. Yeah, it's so yeah. unique. You're focusing on the food, focusing on your conversations. It was amazing. Right when you walk in, it's actually kind of scary. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. It's scary. You, you walk yeah. in like this, shoulder on shoulder, yeah. and you sit down, they sit you down, they bring you your course meal, yeah. delicious food, yeah. and five-star food. And so, thank you very much. Come for the food and the yeah. experience. It's all great. And then when you're done, they you ask for you out, and the uh, co-owner actually sits you down and shows you pictures of what you just ate. <laughs> And the food, yeah. it looks amazing, tastes amazing, but it looks. Did yeah, you guess mostly there? Uh, I guess a, a couple things. <laughs> I guess a couple yeah. things. Uh, the passion fruit is easy to guess. Yeah. Uh, so that's a secret, right? It's, there's some passion fruit sauce. We will change right? the menu shortly. Anyway. <laughs> they always change the menu. You don't know what Every you're doing. Every three months. Guess. Every three months no. they change the menu. So when you're seeing this, it can be knows. But uh, speechless, uh, to say the least. Right. You must go ahead. Thank yes. you very much for coming. It was great to be here for this experience. Yes. See you great. soon. Vietnam stomping grounds just came from the body scrub massage very good massage I got soft skin now this is a staple of my life when I walk home I try to stop by this place or go by my motorbike this is it's 2 a.m. right now this is the fruit bowl take your bowl like that this is a one dollar and fifty cents you take your bowl like this and I like to get banana you got your mango Right here, you got your watermelon. Everything you want, just put all the fruit in there. They even got coconut, fresh coconut meat, people. Coconut. I want more banana because I love their bananas. Look at that fresh banana. Pineapple. This way you get every fruit. You know, you can get one of these things for a dollar or two dollars, but when you go to these bowls, you can just get every fruit. So this is perfect, you know, just blaze some weed, I'm waiting in. This place is open very late. They even have apples, right? Apples. And then they even have these uh, the dried bananas. Pop one of those on top. 2 a.m. fruit bowls, guys. It's just look for the bright and colorful fruit stand. She puts the little uh, uh, oh. sugar uh, sugar syrup on top of it. And then you get a uh, toothpick here. Oh, a little toothpick here. Oh, so good. That like cherry syrup on top if you want to get it. That's the bomb. It's so good every time. Every time. 2 a.m. fruit bowl, Saigon. Put some uh, some cantaloupe and some pineapple. <laughs> oh, the spoon though, I've never tried it with a spoon. A banana watermelon. Yep. All right, wrap it up. Moving street. Don't walk past this place without getting it. It makes you feel so good afterwards. Like this is like my energy, energy drink. Literally here. Only in Saigon. See you guys out here.